Hey, fish heads. It is Sunday, June 2nd, 2019. Jen Cravasi here, Jekyll Bates, and I'm at the finishing desk with just a couple of patterns to show you. We're going to keep it short and sweet, way, way, way shorter than I normally do. Um, starting out with Mallard Creek. A lot of iridescence and shimmer in the top. This is one of the older patterns, but it is a go-to. It's really good this time of year. Um, sometimes a smaller presentation if you're not digging deep with a deep diver is all you need. We've got the Potomac Punch and I've got those in a couple of different sizes. Down here this is actually part of two orders. Uh, that is one order. This is a second order. So Potomac Punch obviously from the Potomac River from the state in which I hail in Maryland. I really like those deep burnt siennas and greens this time of year. And this is a deep enough pattern to where it's a good profile bait in stained water. Um, I like it on a smaller bait because you can run it across the top of the grass, especially when the grass gets up this time of year and you know it is in the Potomac. Really good, it's a fun river, river bait to throw. It does well in lakes, but my favorite situation is to throw it on rivers. Punch. This big fella on the papa is the poison plum. You can see it's got that plum, traditional plum color up top, fading down into a, almost like a smoky yellow, but all that is is some canary yellow, very lightly sprayed. Um, these baits are meant to stay as translucent as possible. That's what I love about this pattern. This is one of my favorite patterns to throw deep because it just gives those, uh, those fish a flash of the outline and the profile. Uh, reds are going to disappear underwater quicker than most other colors. But this poison plum is just fantastic. Not necessarily just on the deep diver, although my customer did request two of them. So Pixel, this one goes out to you. This is on that. Lucky Craft Pressing, their, their deep diver version, or the Replica's deep diver version. And then we've got a couple of lipless. I mean, it's just, it's just a sharp pattern. And those eyes, you know where those eyes are coming from. Those are from Jetson, so there he is. So that is that one. I've got four pieces that are heading out to Mr. Pixel. Showing you this Mallard Creek. Arizona Heat Lightning. Let's pick up this little guy. These are walleye patterns that are all going to be going out to uh, New Mexico. So Mr. Greg Dudley. And I've labeled what they are. A lot of chartreuse flash belly. A little fluorescent orange. Some blue eyes. Good little deep diver. Gotta give it up for Eason. Thank you so much. Um, I made a big order to him. Oh gosh, I want to say a couple of weeks ago. Um, wanted to refill some of the stuff that I can't get here that everybody's out of stateside and I needed to fill orders. So I love being able to get a hold of him and some of the stuff that he, um, he has on Shelts Tackle, you can get from Amazon here in the States. And he's usually kind enough to let me know which ones are in stock state stateside that I can get right away. Uh, but he also has a storefront on Amazon. If you guys didn't know that you should. So check him out as well. A lot of times I am a proponent of Dinger, and I love all these guys. There's a lot of resources out there that we can use, but I would be remiss if I didn't say that I use Schultz and Eason um, as frequently as I can for some of the stuff that isn't available stateside. Um, some of the other patterns that, or some of the other blanks that I can't get anywhere else. So he is a, a good resource, and his baits, I haven't ever had a problem with quality coming from him either. So there are a lot of different places, and I'm not just about one. Um, I, I try and give everybody a shout 
when I can just to give you guys the best resources that that I've found out there. This is a toad suck. Um, and it, you can see that it's a pink to red to purple fade and a little frog pattern. But this is probably the one, this is almost like a poison arrow frog um, from, from that variety. But just, just a fun walleye bait. I've labeled these for him. And then I'm gonna be sending a duplicate set of this. Um, my buddy Dirk up in Kansas asked for a couple of these. So I'm gonna be sending some his way as well. And then we've got the Sucker Punch. Opposite colors work very well off of one another if you're doing a, a really pop flash type of a, a bait style. It almost makes the colors look like they're moving on the bait. Pretty neat. And then he asked, uh, my, my customer asked for bright chartreuse on the bellies of everything that I gave him and to pretty much come up with my own color. These eyes, I know you guys are taking a look at these eyes. These eyes are available on Amazon as well. Uh, now these are glass eyes and you need to be careful with glass eyes. I've, I always make sure that I put extra epoxy uh, and kind of double clear anything that's going to have because you do stand a chance of of dinging them but they are really cool eyes and it matches the profile of this bait for sure so that is what i've got for you guys today thank you guys so much for hanging out spending a few minutes with the channel i appreciate each and every one of you i hope you're having a better day than i am i hope you're on the water I'm in the shop as usual. I am going to sneak out tomorrow and take about a half a day off. I'll be back in my shop tomorrow afternoon and evening. Monday is usually question and answer day. I make sure that all of my emails from the weekend and all my messages and questions are answered. So if you have not gotten an answer from me thus far, be on the lookout for a reply from me by tomorrow evening. This week coming up, we have got two spray sessions. I want to run back to back on those. I was looking at a a really cool um it was a good question a really cool pattern and a question on how uh some green scaling was looking a little bit different um so i wanted to do that because it's a it's an easier solution than you might think it's one of those lore patterns where your eyes plays tricks on you so we're going to work through something like that with scales uh and lines and a couple of different colors and tie all that together and then I had a couple of requests that I want to try and get through on the other spray session so be on the lookout for those this week hopefully sneaking out tomorrow morning early early I'll be able to finally get some fishing footage that I have uh, been wanting to do for a while I've got a couple of products that I need to test out and get back to some uh, some other clients of mine that make their own wooden balsa baits so lots in store for you guys take it easy Enjoy yourselves. I hope your, your weather is fair and your fishing is great. And we'll talk to you soon. We'll see you on the water. Happy casting.